During the Klondike Gold Rush of the late 1890s, fortune hunters used simple tools to mine the ground. Pickaxes, shovels, and wooden sluice boxes. The work required big crews and long hours. Large mines employed hundreds of men and paid wages as high as $20 a day. Their efforts paid off in big gold. In just two years, a single claim on El Dorado Creek pulled more than $230,000 worth of gold. Today, that would be worth $1.8 billion. But as ground was mined out and gold became harder to find, miners needed more efficient ways to move dirt. High-powered water cannons were used to wash large quantities of dirt faster than men could shovel. But even cannons couldn't compete with what came next. In 1898, the first massive dredge began operating in the Yukon. By 1910, there were over a dozen. They could dig through 500 tons of dirt every hour and produce 800 ounces of gold in a single day. Dredges operated 24-7, 200 days a year until the 1960s, when high operating costs and low gold prices shut them down for good. Today, modern miners like Carl Knudsen use lean crews and monster machines to capture the finest gold that both the old-timers and dredges left behind. 